still Huntress again. So this is my um, first um, response to Gypsy Chicks. Well, my first was the introduction. This is my first proper response to Gypsy Chicks Art of Tarot series with the first three decks of my Robin Wood Tarot. Uh, first three cards of my Robin Wood Tarot. Um, the first one is The Fool. And uh, I just love the fact that Gypsy has been doing all of this because I've had the same deck for 20 years. And so this Fool, what I've always loved about this card is uh, you can't tell if the Fool is male or female. And I think that's important. Uh, you've got the white dog, you've got the cliff, you have some butterflies, you have a feather in the hair, and he's playing a flute. And um, I have to say that the whole thing about the fool's journey through the major arcana means nothing to me. I don't get it. It doesn't mean anything to me. But I think that's because I've always seen the fool not as foolish. I've always seen the fool as an embodiment of um, someone who knows so much, who's, who's reached a point of so much wisdom and encompassing the entirety of the universe so that to us they look foolish. The fool is not concerned in the least about stepping off that cliff because the fool knows there is no cliff. The matrix knows. Very, very cool. Um, the magician. This is what was on the outside of the box when I bought this deck. was a picture of the magician card. So we have um, a, a, a white candle and a dark candle in the background acting as sort of pillars in a way. We have the infinity symbol. Um, and we don't really have an as above, so below kind of a thing going on. Um, his uh, smock is embroidered with white roses and lilies, which is interesting because you see the same thing on the Aerophant card. He's got all of his symbols um, of all the soup on the table in front of him. And uh, I just love the headdress of the deer and the horns. Um, Karen Unos from the Hunter means a lot to me in my spiritual practice. So um, I think that's what drew me, to be honest. Uh, the High Priestess. So this is Trump number two. So um, she, I don't know, can you see that? Am I catching the light right? She's got a dark tree and a light tree flanking her. Her, on her diadem around her, her forehead, she has uh, a crescent moon, and her necklace is a pentacle, and she's got the, the Book of Wisdom and the Crystal Ball, blues and purples, um, showing her wisdom, and her full moon, of course. So uh, those are the first three, keeping it short and sweet. Um, I really love this deck. And um, I think it's sort of a, a bright, joyful um, card, and it's very, as Gypsy would, Chick would say, very weighty. It is very ra Rider Waite Smith as far as the symbolism concerned, with a few exceptions. Some of the cards are very different, but uh, that's all for me for right now. And I will post this as a response. Thank you, Gypsy Chick, for all of these awesome videos. And uh, the next one. Trump number three, the Empress. So I will shoot over to Gypsy's Empress video and post the next three. Blessed be.